It says, it says on your website that you were a spelling bee winner. Yes, that's, that is true. And did that, uh, did that negatively or positively affect your, your childhood? Are you kidding me? The, the girls wanted to have me and the guys wanted to be me. I was, I was the big man on campus, man. Once you're a spelling bee winner. And uh, the accordion player as well. That's right. So that that's that's an awesome hand. double punch. One, two. <laughs> Spelling bee winner, accordion player. What's not to like? Did that label you as a band nerd or was that... Um... Well, you can't be a band nerd really officially unless you're in the band. Because, you know, they, they, they don't have accordion players in the band in school. You know, every, you know they, they have, you know, didgeridoo, yeah, come on in. Auto harp, yeah, yeah, join the band, sure, fine. Bagpipes, yeah, come on in. Accordion, I'm sorry, Mr. Yankovic, you're not allowed. It's very sad. Was high school kind of where you began as a performer, or was that was it earlier than that? Oh, earlier than that. I mean, my first big break, I guess, was uh, when I was eight years old, and uh, my cousin Cheryl asked me to play my accordion for her wedding. Mm-hmm. Uh, and you know, I was there on stage, um, you know, doing I think when the Saints go marching in, which was like you know the showstopper. Uh, and there was an agent from CAA in the audience who said, "That kid, he's got the talent." And he signed me up for a uh, multi-platform, non-exclusive uh, five-year deal right there. Wow. It was amazing. Wow. And he stole all my money, all my lunch money. <laughs>